All right, this is multi-touch gesture kind of things on the. All right, this is MacBook Pro multi-touch, uh, Apple's version, uh, mimicked in Linux. So, still uh, control the hardware, interpret the data, and uh, do things that Linux or that OS X does with it. Um, let's see, what do we've got? We've got basic mouse control, so this is all single finger. So I can go up here and I'll tap to minimize the window, tap to minimize this window. Um, if I'm lucky, right click will work. There you go, right, right click um, works. I can do a scroll, so that's changing desktops. It's really touchy um, because a lot of the things aren't used to having kind of a finer resolution than just a mouse wheel does. Um, but if you go to something like Google, um, so these are some Google results, and see I couldn't convert one second to a microsecond. I was off by um, three zeros. But I fixed it. Thank you, Google. Um, I, what I can do is if I do two fingers, I can do a two-finger scroll. And because it's configurable in Firefox, it can it can cause it to look really pretty nice. Um, so that's a two finger scroll, um, which is something you can do before, along with all the click stuff you couldn't do before. Uh, and lastly, I've also so what's running this is a is a daemon, and the daemon uh, steals the USB device from the kernel, um, sets it up just like TouchView did and then interprets the data and um, figures out the intention. So it, it interprets the data into fingers. Those fingers get passed on to uh, different engines. Um, I've written one engine, it's the mouse engine, uh, which is causing, or it, which is sending all these events for the mouse, the mouse stuff. Um, and that, those events go into the kernel through U input, the U input module and come at, back out of the module and picked up by evdev and x and magically gets back into x and is treated like any normal evdev device. So it's a device that's both a keyboard and a mouse um, and an, actually a button too. Um, and that's all configurable. We can add more engines. Well, theoretically, the code actually doesn't support it at the moment, but it will. Um, so you can have um, different gestures do different things. Uh, I've been trying to come up with cool ones, uh, but I don't really have any good ideas. Let me know if you have good I good ideas for that. Um, good ideas for gestures. Um, one thing I'm finding kind of difficult to work with is it's pretty small. Uh, the The trackpad is not not as big as the MacBook Air, I don't think. Um, so there's kind of less, less you can do with it. Uh, but in the future, I imagine Apple's coming out with a, a much bigger trackpad that this stuff will be usable on too. So we'll see where that goes. Um, and that the last thing is to the daemon, which is touched without the e, um, also can communicate via dbus. So right now, all we have is two signals: one for a message that. I don't have any messages coming from the daemon to be displayed to the user. And then there's also a number of fingers signal so that um, anything listening to it can get an update on how many fingers you have on the trackpad. So like if I'm moving here, I move my finger one to, one to four, um, other programs can get that information through DBS. Uh, I've written a sample one using um, Python and Dbus. I'm a Python fan. So if I can show you, there's my taskbar in Ubuntu, or Ubuntu, depending on how you say it. And you can see next to the Bluetooth button, there's a finger, there's a, a hand with a thumb and a finger, kind of like that, except it's too close to the camera. Um, but I can go one finger, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. Um, so that that shows you exactly how many fingers you have on the trackpad, up to four. 
it, it gets information up to 11, which is what is physically supported by the hardware. But right now we just display four. Um, and that also handles messages, but I'm not sending any right now. So uh, if you're interested in finding out more about this, go to tannute.org slash touch. Um, you can see all of the previous stuff that I've done, or get all this code that I've written previously for this, plus this will be up pretty soon. Should be up by the time this video is up. Um, and my email's on there, so you can email me through that. And I'll probably also get a SourceForge page so that we can get us all, all of this code in subversion so it can start to get cleaned up and, and made better because it's it's working and it's pretty stable. Um, I use it all the time now because because it works a lot better. Um, but it does get buggy sometimes. It does crash. So I always have my external keyboard and mouse to, to rescue me if that's the case. Um, yeah, more to come once we have fancy gesture stuff. Um, right now it's kind of at the point where OS X is minus a couple of the fancier gestures they have. Alright, thanks.